honoring the good works of first responders in one Eastern North Carolina community. That's what some folks are working to do in Beaufort County. WNCT's Jessica Jewell joins us now with the inspiring story of the man who's leading the charge. Jessica. Yeah, that's right, Maria. Five years ago, Philip Bryant was in a serious car accident where he was mm. pronounced dead on the scene. Yet first responders saved his life, giving him a new mission to honor their service. The accident left Bryant partially paralyzed from the waist down, requiring him to use a wheelchair. Every day he works to recover from his spinal cord injury, yet he never fails to appreciate those who saved his life. God works in mysterious ways and he puts the right people in the right places, you know, and just so happened to be this particular state trooper that was working that night and this medical attendant, you know, all these people that were there um, were the perfect fit to, to come in and help me. Bryant is one of many stepping up to nominate these unsung heroes for the Beaufort County PAL program's first responder community awards. Residents can nominate any law enforcement officer or first responder in Beaufort County for an act of kindness or going out of their way to help someone. The deadline for nominations is October 30th. For more information on how you can nominate someone for this award, head to our website at WNCT.com. Jessica Jewell, 9 on your side.